Hey everybody, what is up? And welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about overcoming fear when wakeboarding. For those of you that are new here, myself, Ryan, and my brother Liam are two professional wakeboarders and we travel the world competing, coaching, and just doing all things wakeboarding. So on this channel, we're gonna be dropping loads of useful videos like this one to help you improve your wakeboarding. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about fear. Fear is a natural emotion that is brought about by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. So, of course, there's a lot of that involved in wakeboarding. And to be honest, in order to progress, you really have to be able to master fear and, and really be able to push yourself out of your comfort zone when you're riding. Now, today, we've got six tips to give you which we found really helped us along the way in overcoming fear. Tip number one is break the trick down that you're trying into sections. Now, if it's trying a transfer for the first time or a rally or a flip, there's always ways that you can break things down and you don't always have to go for them first try. Now, for a transfer, for example, I'd like to think about the edge, the pop, lift the nose, then turn the board. It's a lot easier to think about things when you break them down and really think about the components involved in doing the whole trick rather than thinking of just the whole trick in one go. That can be really overwhelming and when you're coming into it, you have that massive ooh, knot in your stomach and it's, it's horrible. So really just try and think about breaking it down into different sections as you're going through. Tip number two is, 100% commitment usually ends better than 50. Now, this is tried and true on our behalf. A lot of the times when you're coming in to try these new things, if you back out or you hesitate, usually the consequences are far worse. Now, I'm not saying that 100% commitment isn't gonna result in a slam, because it can. Um, but when you go for it 100%, it really can just improve your chances of not getting hurt. By backing out, you hesitate, your reactions are a lot slower and you end up throwing yourself off balance easily. So 100% commitment is key when trying these tricks. Which leads me on to our next point. Limit the number of attempts that you have when you're trying a trick. We've had it before, railies, tantrums, when you just keep trying, edge, nothing, edge, nothing, and it's frustrating and you just really can leave the session feeling like you're just useless or that you're never gonna learn it. So one tip that we would say is try and limit the number of attempts that you have. If you go for it three times, then call it a day. It's better to get into the habit of trying and committing than attempting and bailing. By doing that repeatedly, you're getting yourself into the habit of backing out and that is gonna carry over into lots of other tricks when it comes to try them. So really limit the number of attempts, but give it 100% on all of them. Now obviously when you're trying these new tricks, there's gonna be a lot of things going on in your head and it can feel overwhelming, but one thing which I like to do is really just try and embrace the fear and almost kind of breathe into it and just take it on. And when, when you do that, when you acknowledge that you're feeling scared, that feeling of when you land it is so much better. Um, and really try and focus on that, you know? Focus on success, not on failure. If you can think about the buzz that you're gonna get when you land a new trick, then it can also help motivate you to do that rather than thinking about the fear of failing. Really, when you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, that is what you get the most buzz from in this sport, at least I've found anyways. Which brings me on to our final tip. You don't know unless you try. So many people that I coach come up to me and they say, no, I'm gonna crash. And I said, well, how do you know that you're gonna crash? You have not even tried it. And yes, a lot of the times you will crash, but majority of the time, it's not as hard as you think. And once you've got that first one done, then it is gonna become so much easier for you to try them again. So really just think about, give it a try, see what happens, and then from there you can build and look to improve to land it in the future. 
Now, I really hope you guys have found this helpful. Those are just a few tips that myself and Liam have figured out along the way. If you'd like this video, please drop us a comment. If you'd like to see any other videos, let us know down there. And also don't forget to subscribe. We would massively, massively appreciate it. And thank you guys for tuning in. We're looking forward to seeing what you can throw down on the water. Yew.